Hello everyone, this is Miss Kiki coming to you again with another invigorating story. And this story is regarding our transgender girls who run track by the name of Andrea Yearwood and Terry Miller. Now these girls for the past, I would say year or two, have been taking the internet by storm because these two girls, they are they were born boys. Um, but they decided in high school to run for the girls' track team. Okay. So um, it has caused a lot of controversy because no other girl has been able to beat them. And the natural born girls, girls who are running and who would generally be up for scholarships or other accolades have not been getting those scholarship chances or accolades due to um, losing to Andrea and Terry. I just want to play for you really quickly a little bit of their interview today with uh, Tamron Hall and I will come back with my commentary. I saw Terry and Andrea. I don't know if, when I was 16 if I would have thought it was fair to compete against you. Now I'm 49 and I'm a lot hopefully wiser. Um, I know what it means to you. How do you answer that you don't have an advantage? <laughs> Tell me how you really answer it. Um, how I answer is that regardless of who's tall, stronger, I feel like we're all kids at the end of the day and we all should be able to participate in sports because we're in high school and it's a fun thing to do. It is a fun thing to do. And Andrea, as you know, it's a fun thing to do, but it comes with scholarships. It comes with advantages if you make it to the top tier. And so for people, they take it, we, people get crazy over six-year-olds in baseball <laughs> and the, the, both teams are bad. But in this, you know, we saw the videos and the clips. People take it personal. They don't see it as fun. How do you explain it? We do sports. And for some for some people, this is a way to get away from certain things in their lives, whether it be home and just things like that. So I think sports has a bigger impact on the kids who play that sport. And it's not always all about winning and losing and things like that. Yeah, people people have marginalized like sports now to where it's it's like a super serious thing. Why can't we just go back to where like it's just fun? Well, it's like I fun think to because do. people get scholarships, they get full rides to colleges that they wouldn't be able to go to. They make a lot of money yeah, and that, in and that's, sports, and that's the dynamic. Yeah, and that's true. But um, like I go, to the, I reached out to my coach. No one reached out to me, so I seeked out those opportunities for myself. If I really wanted to be a part of the sport that I'm in. Um, it's not just about like if you're good at your sport. There's also grades involved too, which grades is super important. Number one, when it comes to school. And you guys are all doing great academically. <laughs> yeah, so we got that covered. <laughs> we got that covered. So there are three girls from Connecticut. They're suing to block the state's policy that permits transgender athletes to participate in athletics consistent with who they are. Um, Terry, you and Andrea, this could affect your ability to run in the category that you identify with. If they win, what does it mean for you more than about being able to run? Um, to me, like the sport in general isn't about like the wins. Like I said, yeah. um, if they want to take back the medals or whatever, they can have it. For me, it helps keep me safe because I feel like where I come from, um, there's a lot of dangerous stuff going on, so track helps keep me off the mix so I'm always busy with just that and I'm getting like good things out of it like I'm in shape and I just feel happy doing it. How do you feel when you have parents, grown-ups, feel to have them expressing such anger for you? How do you process and handle that? Um, when I first like got like all the attention it was just like kind of hard because like I was always like a quiet person but after a while I just ignored it and let like 
like the adults in my life, like Andre and Ma, my mom, my coaches handle it because they know how to handle it in a good way. Do you feel it's more the parents and less the people you're competing against? Definitely. You all say that. Yes, definitely. definitely. Really? Yeah. yeah. So. Um, when I back when I was in high school competing, it was it was not less kids who were really coming back at me. It was really their parents because they always their parents grew up with certain views and their kids are growing up in a different generation than we are and i feel like all of us on this panel are that stepping stone to a new generation absolutely you're the stepping stone yeah and that's why i'll be honest with you it was hard for me to admit as i said i ran track and if i'd seen you i would have been like oh my gosh of course they're gonna win you know but a part of being honest is the evolution and i'm from a different generation but i've educated myself and i've been around enough to know there's not about us. It's not about the 50 plus year olds. It's about y'all. You're going to break these barriers to get people to understand. Okay, so we did hear that. And um, I'm just going to be honest here that I, I really am proud of the girls. I really am proud that they are standing up for what they believe in. The only issue that I take with this is that I do have a daughter myself. And if my daughter uh, being 12 years old wanted to compete and she had to compete against boys, I would not be happy about it. Or, you know, persons who were born naturally as a boy, but they identify as a girl. And it's my understanding that these girls, they have not gone through hormone therapy at all. So they have full testosterone streaming through their, their blood. And of, of course, testosterone affects your, your muscular um, ability, everything, everything. So there is a disadvantage and I understand that yes, they are having fun, they are kids, um, but it does put some people at an unfair advantage. So, um, I just wanted to share this with you. I'm not here to bash these girls. I'm, I'm not here to do that. I'm not here to bash anyone who's making a decision to uh, live their best life and live their truth. But let me know what you all think. And I thank you for um, listening in. You have a great night.